there was a Trump proposal um, in May of this year that suggested uh, cutting in half our, our strategic petroleum reserve, yeah. selling that off uh, to um, to balance the budget. Uh, is that a good idea? I think it's a very risky idea as it's been proposed. As you may know, Congress has already passed legislation which would sell off a pretty significant amount of the SPR, which is Strategic Petroleum Reserve. And the logic is, well, we're now producing a lot more of our own oil and gas, so we don't need as much to cover imports. Our imports are down by a third. So that makes a certain amount of sense. The Trump proposal, as I understand it, would cut the reserve in half in addition, the proposal would uh, cut it not significantly, dramatically. And I think that before we do anything of that nature, that we need to think more strategically about the Strategic Petroleum Reserve. Because as I argue in my book, and you and I have talked about earlier, the structure of oil markets have changed. And if that change is long lasting, as I think it will be, then maybe we need to think about using the Strategic Petroleum Reserve in a different way. Instead of only using it when there is some kind of major uh, disruptive crisis. Maybe there's a way to use it um, so that it complements the the shale production that we have at home. So maybe it can actually be a more useful tool for stabilizing markets. But we need to think big about that. There are certain risks associated with that, which may make it a bad idea. But I think the impulse simply to see this as a potential money maker is really short sighted. Mm -hmm. um, in part, we'd be selling hundreds of millions of barrels of oil at a very, very low price. And we probably bought them at a very high price. So I think we really need to think more about um, what to do with the Strategic Petroleum Reserve before we adopt a policy that simply says we don't need it anymore. Maybe we'd like to use it in a different way than we have in the past.